Hey, welcome back to the Lions Pride Watch. Uh, today we're actually going to be doing the movie review on The Nun, which is a uh, side case from the Warren family in the ever-expanding Conjuring universe. So we're going to start out with John today. What's your uh, your thoughts on the movie? Well, for me, I am not a horror movie fan at all. <laughs> I have stayed away from most horror films in the last few years, but the Conjuring series has actually drawn me in a lot. Now, what I've seen is like, Throughout the movie, there was a lot of cinematic, like just integrity. There was a lot of the consistency between the time frame, the period, and a lot of what was going on. And I think that led to the immersion for me within the whole movie. Like I enjoyed that completely. However, I was detracted out of that environment by all the constant jump scares. And I see where a lot of people found fault with the movie for that. But I think the movie was perfect, not with that many jump scares. Um, it being a nun too, I saw it a bit sacrilegious, but I found it to be the more entertaining portion of it as well. So I think I gave it a really good, I, I think I have a really good impression on it. And it's in my review in print, so you can, everyone can check it out. Uh, but I give it a four out of five quotes. So I would agree with you with all the uh, cinematic stuff that were was going on that kind of made the movie to be more interesting. I really enjoyed the movies prior, so all the Conjuring movies, the Annabelle movie, like all those movies were really interesting to watch and it was very, um, more of like a mystery kind of thing, so it was like more of a storyline to it, which was really cool and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was very entertaining to watch and I was always thinking like what's gonna happen next and I was sitting on the edge of my seat and there were times that there was a lot of comedic relief in it which was well needed but it was a lot of fun to watch and I was scared <laughs> it did its job so <laughs> I would give it a four out of five pause as well. Uh, well I'm like John and in spite of the fact that I created the monster class here on campus um, I don't go to horror movies, um, so I, I was a, a, a reluctant uh, viewer of the movie and, and did it for these wonderful students. Um, and, but it was the wonderful students who made it such a great experience for me. I would not go see Aww. this movie by myself, <laughs> um, but I thoroughly enjoyed being there with all of you. So for me, the entertainment value was there in part because Emily had joined us and it was fun just watching her respond. Um, yes, so shout the, out to Emily Kachansky. Yes, absolutely, yes. absolutely. And so the, um, there were some jokes being made on my row that were the comic relief for me. I agree that it was filmed beautifully. I really enjoyed that. Um, I liked the gothic elements in the story very much. Um, I thought it was entertaining. There was some psychological realism lacking for me. There's a particular scene. There are a lot of scenes where the response would be much more logical to run the other direction, scream a little bit, and they're just sort of moving along like nothing's happened. So. Um, I think I'm going to give it three out of five pause. Cool. Uh, for me, I thoroughly enjoyed the movie because I I do like watching scary and horror movies and everything like that. And in order to make a good one, you have to have a good mix of everything. And I know some other people reviewed it and were saying, oh, too many jump scares and stuff like that. But they had the perfect like mix of everything. They had the jump scares when they needed them. They had the, the quiet scenes, the scenes that were just creepy. You see something that they don't see and you're like, why aren't you doing? Why aren't you turning around? <laughs> uh, there's, it was a perfect mix of that, and then the score of the movie. It, it was creepy. It like kept you on the edge of your seat the entire time, and I, I enjoy all the like the cinematics and the scores and the music and everything. Uh, so, in all, I would give it like a good four out of five for me. Sweet. So that's it for this edition of the Lions Pride Watch. Keep a lookout. We'll continue to keep them short and to the point. We'll have them 150 seconds just for you on time on Lion Share. Check out our YouTube page and our Facebook page for other updates. Until next time, see you later.